Hey, in this video we're talking about the main differences between a conventional car with an internal combustion engine and a fully electric one, coming up. The first main difference is fuel consumption. Running on electricity isn't free, but it's much cheaper compared to running on alternative fuel, such as petrol or diesel. Tesla and other car manufacturers claim consumptions between 12 to 17 kilowatt hour of electricity per 100 kilometers. This is equivalent to around $1 to $4 per 100 kilometers depending on the region that you live in. So running on electricity can be up to 10 times cheaper than in a conventional car. If you live in a country like Romania where electricity is pretty cheap, around 9 cents per kilowatt hour, then you might get a great deal. In US, the average price for electricity is around 20 cents per kilowatt hour and the average in Europe is around 22 cents per kilowatt hour. It can get as high as 30 cents per kilowatt hour in Denmark and as low as 9 cents in Romania or Bulgaria. The second main difference would be drag coefficient. Conventional cars have air vents in front of the car to allow the engine to get enough air for it to cool down and work properly. Electric cars don't need those vents so Elon Musk was able to lower the drag coefficient to 0.19. That's the lowest drag coefficient on a production car. An average car has a drag coefficient of around 0.32. So from 0.32 to 0.19 is around 40% difference. So basically you need less power to drive at 200 km per hour hour than you would need in a conventional car. Drag coefficient is pretty important but most people don't pay attention to it. So in electric cars, drag coefficient is much better and it would continue to get even better. You won't see a manual transmission in a fully electric car pretty soon. So for enthusiasts like me, it's kind of sad. Transmissions used in fully electric cars are upgraded versions of the current automatic transmissions used in conventional cars. They are specially designed to run on these kinds of power plants. Another exciting difference is power and torque. In a conventional car you need to reach 6000-7000 rpm to reach the maximum power and you need at least 2000-4000 to 4, rpm to reach the maximum torque. In a fully electric vehicle you have instant power and instant torque at nearly 100% when you turn on the lights, it goes to 100% power. It goes instantly. You don't need to rev the bulb to a certain point to get the wanted power and luminosity. So in fully electric cars, when you drive them, you have instant power and instant torque. In fact, when you start from standstill, electric cars have a stepper. It would be a disaster if you would have 100% power when you're standing at zero speed. It would destroy the transmission and the tires would tear apart. So driving a fully electric car is like driving a conventional car always at 7000 RPM. Simplicity. Yeah, you heard me right. Electric cars are much more simple compared to conventional ones. You basically have an electric power plant and a transmission. You don't, you don't have any timing belts, any camshafts, any crankshafts, any oil, any coolant. You don't have any moving parts. So when you go to a regular car check, you basically have to change a light bulb, some tires, some brake pads, some brake discs, or the oil in the gearbox. And that's it. You may have to change the batteries after 5, 6, 7 years, but except that, you don't have any fancy maintenance to do on a fully electric car. At the moment, the most inconvenient part about fully electric cars are the batteries. At the moment, you need to wait for a few hours in order for the batteries to reach 100% capacity. So it's inconvenient, especially if you'll go for a longer road trip. However, batteries are constantly improving, so we should see faster charge times and higher fuel ranges. So these are the main differences between a conventional and a fully electric car. But I have to add something more to this video regarding emissions and pollution around the globe. Worldwide, we're consuming over 90 million barrels of crude oil per day. This means that we're consuming over 14.3 billion liters of crude oil, which is equivalent to over 38.7 metric tons of carbon dioxide. That's insane. We need to stop this. We need to shift to green energy. We need to generate more power from water, wind, and sun. At first, we need to shift to hybrid cars to reduce fuel consumption around the globe. And then, we need to shift to fully electric cars. I'm pretty sure that technology will allow us to charge our batteries to full capacity in less than 20 minutes. 
But the transition to those kind of things has to be gradual to preserve the economy. Without any doubts, the way that we are living today will be called in the future the petrol era. I'm pretty sure that by the year 2100, we won't see any conventional cars with internal combustion engines on the streets anymore. And this would be a good sign for our planet. If you have anything else to add, please feel free to write in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more car videos soon. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.